The Richter scale is used to measure the strength of earthquakes. In 1935, Richter developed a scale to represent the energy released by earthquakes. For example, an earthquake with a magnitude of 1 on the Richter scale is a very small earthquake that will not cause any damage. An earthquake with a magnitude of 9 on the Richter scale is one of the most devastating earthquakes ever recorded. But how does this work? A seismograph is a device that greatly amplifies the motion of the Earth. If the Earth moves, for example due to an earthquake or a bomb, the seismograph moves. This creates a drawing which is called a seismogram. This measurement used to be done on paper, but is now done digital. The greater the deviation, the stronger the earthquake. Mr. Richter therefore devised a measuring scale based on the drawing. An earthquake with magnitude 1 on the Richter scale is not felt by humans and will cause little or no damage. Only at a magnitude of 3 many people feel that there is an earthquake. An earthquake with a magnitude of 5 is one of the strongest earthquakes to have occurred in the Netherlands, in Roermond in 1992. An earthquake with a magnitude of 7 will cause many buildings to collapse and an earthquake with a magnitude of 9 will cause total destruction. The heavier an earthquake, the less often it occurs. For example, the lightest earthquakes occur 8000 times a day, while the strongest earthquakes occur about once every 20 years. The Richter scale is logarithmic. This means that an earthquake with a magnitude of 2 on the Richter scale is 10 times as heavy as an earthquake with a magnitude of 1. An earthquake with a magnitude of 3 on the Richter scale is again 10 times as heavy. So an earthquake with a magnitude of 7 is 10 times 10 times 10 or 1000 times as heavy as an earthquake with a magnitude of 4. The strongest earthquake ever recorded was the Valdivia earthquake in Chile in 1960. It had a magnitude of 9.6 on the Richter scale. The Richter scale extends up to and including scale 12, but such strong earthquakes have not yet been measured. Please note that the Richter scale only measures the energy released in an earthquake and does not measure the damage or the number of casualties. For example, an earthquake can be very strong, but if it occurs in an area where no one lives, there will be no damage to buildings and there will be few casualties. Conversely, an earthquake with a small magnitude can still cause damage if it occurs in a poor area, where the houses are poorly built, collapsed and there may be casualties in the collapsed buildings. In short, the Richter scale measures how much energy is released during an earthquake. 